Faith Alive is on the air with evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth from New York City to Los Angeles, from Anchorage, Alaska to Honolulu, from British Columbia to the Maritimes, and in the great cities of the world, London, Rome, Moscow, and Manila. Brother Shuttlesworth touches millions of lives daily with his message of faith, proclaiming the saving and healing power of Jesus Christ. With over 40 years of dynamic preaching, he is bringing this life-changing gospel into your home. Join with Ted Shuttlesworth and let's believe God for your breakthrough today. Bible says there was a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. She'd suffered many things of many physicians, and it's been all that she had, and was nothing better but grew worse. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind, and the Bible says she touched his garment, for she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. And the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy play. And I've said for years, if her faith could make her whole, then friend, your faith will make you whole today. Oh, it is Jesus, wonderful Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. In my soul, for I have touched the hem of his garment, and his precious blood. communion service and I have with me here in the studio my precious wife Bonnie if you will dear will you open us in prayer yes. because I'm expecting miracles to take place yes. people to be healed Amen. great breakthroughs and uh, this is my wife for you that don't know her Bonnie and if you would just Hello, everyone. 
Let's pray a pray. blessing. Father, we just thank you so much for this wonderful day, Good Friday, where we, we remember what Jesus did on the cross and how he shed his blood that we might be set free from the power of the enemy. We thank you, Lord, that he took those stripes on his back, that we might be healed of every sickness and every disease. And we thank you today. We, we thank you for those that are watching today, those, Lord, that are putting their faith and trust in you for uh, prayers to be answered. And yes, we come Lord. into agreement with them today. We thank you. You're going to do great and mighty things as we put our faith and trust in you. And we just give you all the praise, all the thanks, yes, Lord, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bonnie, Hallelujah. many of our friends are already joining us. Uh, yes. Maybe you could just greet them as they come on. Yes. And make sure you share everybody today. Go ahead. Yeah, dear. let us know where you're watching from. And Emma Malcolm, she's on and watching. Hi, Emma. Lynn Ann from California. Mm -hmm. Sister uh, Luenda's on and Griffin DeWinter and uh, Victoria ba Barros, Ronald Moore. Daryl Pinder, all from the, the way Bahamas. from the Bahamas. Yeah. Lynn Ann out there in California. Kim Howlett and Ruth Ortiz, Alice Deacons, Josh Faulkner. Where are they Jeff watching Day. from? Make sure you share. Yes. Mars Hill. Yep. He's up in the beautiful state of Maine. Yes. Jeff Graves from New London, Connecticut. Wow. Luenda's in Washington, PA. And Herbert Vance. We love you, Brother Herb. Watching from Clarksburg. Make sure you share. <laughs> Lisa Marie Blanton from Ohio, Katie Emanuel, oh, it's Sam and Katie DeJoy in Cleveland, and um, Udine Daniels from upstate New York, Teresa Bonney from Westbrook, Maine, Griffin DeWinters from South Carolina, Olanta, and uh, let's see, Wayne Medeiros. Danny Booth is the first one that shared. Thank you. Both ears are open. <laughs> Amen. Share everybody so <laughs> others can watch and receive Lewinda today. Linda said, I shared, I care. <laughs> <laughs> Shawnee Culpepper, happy Good Friday. Thinker Bell <laughs> from Jacksonville. Velvolette Poole, hi Velvolette from Raleigh, North Carolina. I know her. Lisa yeah. Lombard from Rockport, Massachusetts. That's Yay. Up in your neck of New the England words. shall New be England. saved. <laughs> Amen. Sean Barker, hi. And so we're glad you're watching everybody from Facebook and YouTube and also on X. And you can also watch this on Brother Ted's free app on the App Store. You know why I'm doing that? I think it'll be harder for Christians to, without being censored, stay on Facebook and some of these platforms. And so we're smarter than the devil's crowd. That's why we have a brand new app. And you can download it for free. And not only are these special times of ministry on the app, but we also have sort of archived some of our tent crusades, our weekly telecasts, mm -hmm. miracle minutes. It's really great. I, yeah. I went on the other day just to check it. From Thermopolis, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Mar great? There's Marilyn from New Jersey. Susan Cass Susan from oh, Elgin, yeah. Illinois. Marie Camille from... Wow, Wyoming. Yeah. David Allen's in Corridan, New Indiana. We've stayed there many times. Corridan, yeah. And Gayla Hall, watching on Facebook. Sarnia. Rahima from Sarnia. Yeah. We'll be up that way soon. Erica Noel and Harry Bur Burris from Houston, Pennsylvania, not far from here. I know Brother and, Burris. Uh, yes. God bless him. We're going to be get your communion elements together. We're going to do communion today. and uh, On the table you see in front of me, my wife and I have already prepared our, uh, our grape uh, juice, the element. And uh, when we come to the end of this, we're going to pray healing prayers, deliverance prayers. Paul Sherrill's on, honey. He and his wife, I think it's Nona, they're um, coming to camp meet. I'm good. looking forward to From seeing Maryland. him. Mm -hmm. And God gave him a great healing testimony. Hallelujah. I hope you can give it, Brother Paul, when you come. But we welcome Paul Sherrill, mm -hmm. Connie Mills Mannering. That's Canada. Mm -hmm. A lot of Canadians are on today. Yes. And Udine, is it Aldine? Aldine, she's from, uh, where are you from, Aldine? She Let us know say. where you're watching from, Aldine, as well as make sure everybody share. Wayne is from 
Let's see. You from Rhode Providence, Island? Providence, Rhode Island. You know that place? Wayne Medeiros. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And their sister, Sherry. Sherry Wilman Vance. And Peggy Parr. She's from Valdosta, Georgia. Wow. And the, the Freemans. Freemans. Yeah. We love you all. You know, we'll God miss you. really touched Christy, uh, Daryl's wife. And the Freemans are, I mean, they're award-winning gospel musicians and singers from uh, Nashville, Tennessee. We love them. In fact, yes. I try to support them every time I'm able. Uh, by that, I mean we, we just love people that love Christ Amen. that are actually traveling. Let me just say this, honey. <clears throat> I On, on uh, X, I was uh, encouraging Joe Bonzel. He's from that neck of the woods. Mm hmm and he needs a miracle in his body. And I've asked the Lord today to use this somehow yes. to turn around the physical challenge that Brother Joe's going through yes. and raise him up. He was in the Oak Ridge Boys almost 50 years they're celebrating, and they're getting ready to wrap it up. But he wasn't able to finish this particular part of the road tour. But you know what I'm believing? I prayed this ye uh, yesterday. I said, Lord, raise Joe up, heal him in such a way Amen. he can go back out and finish mm. the last few concerts and then so anoint him to tell his testimony yes. of how Jesus healed him and then give yeah. altar calls in these remaining concerts. Wouldn't that be wonderful? It would be. Tyler Dross, yes. we, it's great to see you. At least Amen. you're, you're uh, on Facebook, I think, There's right? There's Gidget Parker from West Union, Ohio. Look at there, Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Wow. It's Isn't beautiful up something? there. The the individual that told me you're watching in uh, in in Great Britain in England, uh, and texted the office, uh, make a comment. Let me know if you you're able to get it. Not everybody understands, but there are many social media platforms now that we're using: Facebook, YouTube, X, formerly what Twitter, and there's Jose Romero. <laughs> Hi, Jose. We love you and Billy Joe. They're partners with us, yes. and they stand with us every month. And you yes, know, folks, we you. couldn't even do this without our friends and partners that right. help us take the gospel around the world. And it's because of you that we're, we're going to do this. Lisa Marie. She um, said the boys are listening from prison. In Good. prison. Good. That's great. You have a captive audience. <laughs> All Jeff the men Lowry in from prison. Hinden, Pennsylvania, Hinden, near Cumberland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Terry Gonder from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. I held a great meeting in Gettysburg one time, and the yes. Lord moved in such a way. Do you remember that? I a do. woman's hands began to drip oil. Mm -hmm. The anointing came on her hands. I had 12 deaf people lined up. She was one, deaf in one ear. Uh, but the Lord told me there were 13. And I waited, I counted, one, two, three, four. You know, I just kept counting, but we still had 12. Listen to this, folks. This was what was great. A man comes out of the men's room and comes into the auditorium, and his wife yells, get down <laughs> there. They're praying for the deaf. <laughs> he goes, what? <laughs> he came down. There was the 13 God told me. And I took the oil off the woman's hands that I believe was supernatural, and every one of those people, some totally deaf, deaf in one ear, partially deaf, everyone. Mm. I, yes, what I think about makes me shout. Praise God. Every one of their deaf ears was open that Amen. day, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We had another great, great meeting in Gettysburg where Brother Ted gave the altar call, and about half the church came to the altar to be saved. And he thought that maybe they don't understand what I'm saying. And so that's right. I he, forgot. he gave. It again and said, this is if you've never received Jesus as your Savior, come to the altar. About another fourth of the crowd came down to the altar to be saved. It was awesome. And I still didn't know if they understood. Mm -hmm. I gave three altar calls. I said, now, I'm talking about people you're, you're not sure you're saved. You're not sure that Christ is your Savior. And by the time I was done, half the church was in the altar, over 200 and some people. Mm -hmm. And then later, the pastor got mad at me, remember? Yes. Why was he mad? He said, I don't give altar calls. I said, I wonder why I had so many get saved. Half the church. And so you get what you preach, and we That's preach. That's true. There's salvation under no other name or no other way. Amen. But Jesus Christ, that Amen. at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Hey, there's our friend Linda is on. Is that Slack? Yeah, Linda, Linda Slack. From Newport, Newport North, North Carolina. Carolina. God bless you, Linda. 
Here's Katrina, uh, Katrina Road from mm -hmm. Ohio, watching with her brother Adam. Tyler's back. <laughs> She's coming to the tent revival next month, she said. Hey, it's um, great. Make sure every one of you share, please. This is how we reach people through your sharing. Yeah. Uh, I want you to watch this miracle, and it will encourage you. It was a man that came under the tent in Parkersburg, West Virginia, and get your prayer requests in now. You can call, and someone put this on the screen. You see it there, 188-323-2484. I actually have a fully staffed prayer center today, and you can actually talk with somebody if you need prayer. If you can't get through, go to our website, tedshuttlesworth.com forward slash prayer, and then one of our ladies is going to run the prayer requests up. What I'm going to do is lay my hands on them at the end of this Good Friday healing and communion service. And I'm going to pray specifically for you and your family. But if you will, watch this miracle. I looked over and saw you sitting there. And the only way I can describe it is a compassion came over me. And I heard the Lord say, he's been strong most of his life. And then this affliction attacked his body. Does that sound right? 2012 but I don't know you do I know you have I ever spoken to either one of you and so you know the truth of this when I looked over I saw Christ what I would call his angelic helpers one preacher called them angels on assignment God has sent an angel to bring healing to your body which you've had this problem since 2012 so the first thing I'm going to do is ask the Lord to replace some discs in your back. That's the first thing. I see one of them almost looks like it's deteriorated in the spirit to me. This is what I call God's x-ray machine. <laughs> and uh, you need three new discs. And so as a result, you can't lift like you used to. You can't turn or torque your body at all and if in a moment when God does this if you were to grab this and try to bend down you probably couldn't get back up isn't that right now Jesus you came to me when I was a boy I've been doing this for 40 some years by your command he needs a creative miracle in his back and one of his knees he needs the power of God you're not going to let him leave here without that touch. Plus, sir, one of your ears needs to be healed too. You're going deaf in one of your ears. Hard of hearing, some would say. Yes. Did you tell me any of those things? No. Now, we can't see the discs, but we can tell when an ear comes open. Will you believe with me when I lay hands on you that God will put in you three new discs? I'm not going to pray for him. I'm going to prophesy like the prophet in the Old Testament. Prophesy, new bone. Prophesy, new sinew. It shall come up in oh come. Glory to God. I said glory to God. What's your first name? So, what? In the name of the Lord Jesus, the head of the church, Jeff. I prophesy new discs to come into your back and spine right now. I prophesy your knee to be healed right now. I prophesy new bone. I prophesy now it shall come right now. And as a sign to you, you got it? Lord, give him new eardrums, new auditory nerves. This lack of hearing in this one ear. Let it open up in front of all the people. Thou foul deafness in Christ's name. I adjure you by the power of Jesus Christ. Come out and open in the name of Jesus. In the name, what, what happened? My right ear just come. Through. Just come open, didn't it? Amen. Come on, take a little walk. Now, turn around and grab this bar. Do what you couldn't do. Bend down and come back up. After 10 years, jump on your feet and praise the Lord. Do it again. And 
and I command him never to lose it. Come on, clap your hands and shout. Shout miracles are coming down from the Lord. Yes, Lord. Raise your hands and praise him. I come to cast a devil out tonight. You got it. Huh? It's gone. Wait a minute. Turn around and tell the people. He's testifying to his wife. What? I was sitting over there stretching my left leg because this left leg was hurting terrible. And he called me out. I have no pain. I could not. Just now. I have not been able to kneel and get up without pulling myself with my arms since 2012. But now, almost 11 years later, right in front of your eyes, Jesus is telling you, Jesus is alive. Somebody shout, Jesus is alive. Shout, he's alive. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be having communion today, so everyone, please go ahead and get your elements so that you'll be ready when you we know, go. You know, I like that song, not to interrupt you. I love that song, Old is Jesus. I want to hear a little of it in the speakers up here, John, too, as well. But I want you to prepare your heart. Prepare your heart. You can bring the sound down a little bit. Go ahead. And let's release our faith. You've got some requests already. There are people are getting yes. them in. What I would like to do, honey, is I'd like to, as they're coming in and people are calling, I know they're going to run these up. I want to lay my hands on these yes. at the end of this uh, Good Friday healing communion service and pray for you and your family yes. to receive. Daniel Booth <laughs> said, if you can't feel that, your feelers broke. Yes, Amen. It's wonderful, the miracles. Pamela's on today, healing, deliverance for chronic depression, insomnia, bad dreams, autoimmune. Today's your day, disease. Pamela. Amen. Today's your day. Mm. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. What's one of the greatest miracles that you can remember over the years? We've seen so many miracles, but uh, tell us something that it's always stands out. To see miracles and what Jesus does for us, and you know, I was thinking about um, the one that we saw in Florida. It always just brings tears to my eyes when I think about what Jesus does so miraculously. And a lady who was coming up to give her offering at the altar. And as she was going by, she had a Velcro boot on her foot. And Brother Ted said, what happened to you? And she said, well, I, we own a trucking company and I was in the um, garage and a forklift, somebody driving it came up behind me and the forklift cut my foot off. Mm. And so the doctors tried to reattach that. They had to put eight pins because her ankles were destroyed and she had no mobility in her ankles anymore. And they sewed her foot back on. But Brother Ted said, let's take off that boot and let's just anoint it with oil and see what will happen. We'll see what the Lord will do for you. And as she took that boot off, you could see her foot was just all purple and swollen. And as he began to put the anointing oil on her foot as she sat on the front row, mm. before he even got to pray, he felt two brand new ankle bones pop out and said, Donna, feel right here. She felt two brand new ankle bones and she jumped up and started jumping up and down and praising the Lord. She began running around and around the church. Yes. And she said, all the pain is gone. And she said, I have mobility in my ankle. And um, I believe Jesus took all those pins out and just put brand new ankle bones in there. Amen. And she was made whole in Jesus' name. And the next day she came back, all her foot was healed. She had her little red high heels on and praising the Lord. So praise God. Amen. Nothing's impossible with him. You know, Bonnie, um, they're just bringing these requests. I'll have you read them in a moment. Mm -hmm. But I noticed coming on Phil and Jamie Hutchings in New Brunswick, Canada. Carol Wilson's watching. Joe, God bless you. Let us know where you're watching from and make sure you share. In yes. front of me, you'll see a uh, glass filled with the grape juice, which this represents the blood of the Lord. And then we have the unleavened bread, the, the small cracker that we have. And if you will, uh, make sure 
Make sure you can join us today and take communion. And the needs, I, I'm looking, autism. Yes. Our friend from the United Kingdom, pray yes. for the son to be delivered from autism. Yes. And over 100 messages have come in already. Thank God. But make sure you get your requests in. Mm -hmm. And um, I want you to loop that music, please. I, I just love this time that speaks of Beautiful. Christ. Beautiful, yes. Go ahead, honey. Read some of the prayer requests. This one came in from Ann Stuck Stuckey, and she's in the Chicago area. And she said, please pray that God heals me, Tristan, Tawanda, and Willie. A breakthrough from all these demonic attacks put a hedge of protection around us bless the ministry and give divine connections so lord we just come into agreement with this yes, family Jesus. now you know their needs we mm. pray right now the anointing of the holy ghost to come upon this family lord we pray healing from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet and we thank you lord your blessing blessing the ministry thank you for divine connections lord Move mightily and supply every need in Jesus' name. I see our partners Hallelujah. are on today. Alex Meadows, Frank Nemeth Sr., watching from Greenville, Pennsylvania. Uh, Deborah Johnson in Bradenton. We were just there. Mm -hmm. uh, read some of them. Nettie Green. Nettie Green. She needs pray prayers for a vehicle. Her grandson yes. wrecked her vehicle and totaled it. And Don Lowe needs healing for his intestines and neck. Yes, I Hi remember his name before. There's Heidi. Hi, Heidi, we love you. Heidi She's Herta. up in Maine. Up in Maine. Believing Still for believing Brian's for Brian's healing from cancer. Yes. You know, I, I, I never did hear back, but I did send a book on healing, Heidi, yes. to Brian. I hope he got it. And yes. maybe Holly let me know. I don't know, but so far I don't know. But I'm willing to resend. <laughs> Roger, Roger stairs little to Maine, just up the street from Heidi. Mm -hmm. So that's that north road going yes. towards Presque Isle. Uh, Alex, we love you too. Victoria. Victoria. Oh, Barris from out. Is that Colorado? Victoria. She's I remember miracles at children. midnight. Yeah. We saved them and her grandchildren. Yes, Lord. Get Amen. a hold of our children. Amen. Grandchildren. Deborah for her husband, Frank. Deborah Johnson. And she's praying for what? Her husband has macular degeneration. There you go, eyes. Folks, I believe this. God can heal your eyes. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, even yes. as this healing service is going out, we curse blindness. Uh, we curse, Lord, cataract. We curse macular degeneration and every form of attack on vision. Your word declares you give us, the Lord our God gives a seeing eye and a hearing ear. We receive that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Folks, share. I feel the anointing getting stronger. Amen. You have some more requests that they brought up? Yes. This is from David Allen. Healing in his spine, scoliosis and bulging discs, digestive issues. His wife needs spinal healing and digestive healing as well. David Allen. Yes. Sugar issues related to pregnancy. No complications in the pregnancy. Amen. Nettie Green is wanting us to pray for her grandson Amen. and uh, for her eyes. And Daniel it. from Cape Town. Is that South Africa, Daniel? It is, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. Make sure you sure, uh, share because a lot of times the people in South Africa start viewing. I tell you, I love this. You're Joshua in from Botswana. Hi, Joshua. Botswana. Wow. Michael Millie, Baxter. she needs healing in her eyes. She's in Baltimore. Millie. Yeah. Amen. We're coming to Baltimore. We're scheduling now to try to get in there before the summer's over. Yes. Pray for us there to get that job done. Amen. You know, Bonnie, I thank God for our staff, our people that help us behind the scenes. Even right off the set, our floor director, she's here, camera people in the TV uh, uh, editing suites. And, and we've got uh, John, we've got uh, Jeremiah. And then our administrator, Sister Odessa, and the great crowd of helpers that came today. Yes. We thank God for all of you. Sherry's Amen. believing for her grandchildren to be saved. Ben Barrows, hey, good to see your name again. Not mm -hmm. face, but I see, uh, you remember him from Miracles at Midnight. I do. Sister Luenda, a degenerative disc. Right knee. Tata Pozongo. Hallelujah. Connie Yoko. Yes, ma'am, we pray for your hearing and
and household salvation. Lord, touch Connie's hearing right now. Give her a miracle. Open that ear so the Lord should be able to hear. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Miriam from Central Pennsylvania. Again, my wife's reading some of these. Got, mm-hmm. uh, let me have my. I'm going to let you pray for all of them at the end yes. of this. And get your requests in. Downstairs right now, we have a full complement of prayer warriors. So Amy Leonard just came on, children, grandchildren, salvation. Uh, Colin Horton. He's in Berwick, Maine. Watching from Berwick, Maine. Yeah. His grampy is in the hospital. Lord, touch Colin's grandfather right now. Raise him up. Quicken his body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name There's Cheryl of Jesus. Franks. I haven't seen her name in a long time. What's she saying? She huh? received good results from genetic testing, praying for healing of breast cancer. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. There's Daniel. We're in agreement. Say that name for me. Detroit. Good. That's Detroit. Daniel Detroit. Yep. And B, his wife. Oh, they're, they're coming in. to camp meeting. Good. Thank God. What did Ben say? Wonderful. I need healing of my skin. Some kind of skin Itchy problem. Skin. Lord, whatever it is. What the doctors cannot do, heal Ben to die. Yes. Right now. In Jesus' name. Carol Wilson. Husband needs healing for his heart. Yes, Lord. Touch him. Alex. Alex Harry. Good evening. He's in South He's in Pretoria. South Africa in Pretoria. Wow. Lord, touch the blood pressure, and I rebuke diabetes out of his blood. Yes. Jesus', Jesus name. name. Jesus' name. See, it works on that. When people come on, then they share. Everybody on their timeline in that country or that region, they get blessed. Yes. And before you know it, God's given us a multitude yes. of viewership around the world. Around the world. What we're doing, I'm holding in my hand the request they're bringing up from downstairs. I'll be bringing some more in a moment. If you'll call that toll-free number, you in the United States and Canada, you and other countries, go to our website, put your prayer request in, I think it's Lisa's running the computer. She'll print them. And before this Good Friday healing and communion service goes off the air, they'll bring all your prayer requests to me. Sister Bonnie and I will lay our hands on them. Amen. And we're going to pray in faith Amen. and agreeing with you. And Amen. you too shall receive. Read some more of them, honey. They're coming quick now. Michael Baxter, be in prayer for his grandmother and his mom's dad. Amy, Canada, we're coming up to Pittsburgh in July. That's Bobby right. We Smith. just booked that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's from Canada. Yeah. He tore his Achilles five months ago. Kidney stones to go, George Thurlow, my buddy up in Maine. Amen. Vivian, God bless you. Alex, your neighbor. Foot amputated. Oh, I hate to hear that. Gonna... But he's in pain. Lord, you can remove the pain. Oh, Jesus. You can do it, Lord. Matt's on today from Massachusetts. Thank God. So get your requests in. Just make the call. The number's on the screen. Uh, Works U.S. and Canada. I just found out even the Bahamas can call in on it. I didn't know that till the other day. Here comes some more requests. Come on, let's get these prayed over. I got another wonderful miracle I want to show you in a minute. Here you go, Bonnie. Here's some more. We can add to the, the the stack of prayer requests. Go ahead and read it, dear. Let me read this one. Okay. Yes, I do. This is from um, Vassal Boyd. He's the one that tore his Achilles five months ago. Uh huh. Yes. And what he do? He's he in pain now. Yes. Lord, we pray for him. Command that pain to go Jesus out of his name. body in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Let those name. nerves heal up and work perfectly Praise and normally, God. God. Touch him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Hallelujah. Ben, Thank my you, son Lord. is coming on a Western tour. He's coming to Mon- Montana, uh, Wyoming. And I'm going to mention him to consider going into Colorado. I'm scheduled through the year in different places, but... I, I, I say, Lord willing, I don't know, Brother Isaac, when I'll be back to California again. But I do know we just confirmed with Jonathan Shuttlesworth, my nephew, we're going to be in Pittsburgh at Revival Today 
uh, July the 6th, mm-hmm. and I'm preaching twice, afternoon and night. Morning. I don't think it's a morning one. I think it's afternoon. But we'll find out. If you want to come in the morning and pray around the altar, we like that too. Amen. But we, I'd love to come back to Denver. I've been there many times. God gave us powerful meetings there. Beautiful place. Well, this is a, a healing service today. Uh, I've been praying for several people. Rich Wilkerson, my friend since we were teenagers. It didn't look good. It didn't look good. But God's turned things around. And I'm rejoicing. You heard me say I was praying for Joe Bonzo. When I was a boy, Joe and the Keystone Quartet would come to my dad's church in Harrisburg. And sometime back, Dwayne Nicholson, that was in the Courier Quartet, called me and said, I want you to pray for my buddy, uh, Joe Bonzo. And I said, I remember him. And as you know, when I got out of Bible school, I preached in all the CCNA churches uh, in the Northeast for Fortunato, for Bon Giovanni, for uh, you name them, I preached for them. Amen. Farina and uh, so forth. Uh, but Joe's folks, his dad and mom, were out of the Philadelphia area and wonderful people. And so I began to pray every week for Brother Bonzo. And then recently the Lord said, pray daily. And folks, that's what we're doing. We're holding this service, not just for this one time a year, but when you get your requests in, whether it's by calling or going to our website, yeah. They print them out. There's an altar you can't see on the other side of the studio. There are thousands of these on that altar that we lay our hands on and pray for you. And we do want to pray for you. Now we're going to go see another great miracle from our Atlanta, Georgia tent crusade in June of last year. Look what God did for this woman. Amen. You ready for God to touch you? I didn't see this when you came up a moment ago. But while I was preaching, I heard the Lord say, tell her I'm going to heal two things in her body. you believe that? Yes. One, hear how I say it. God's going to give you a new gallbladder. And you need one. Isn't that something? Wow, that's amazing. Why is it amazing? Because he knows. I I haven't been to the doctor in a long time. And these problems you're starting to feel, it's related to the gallbladder. In fact, you felt the other day, what in the world is this? You thought, I'll just start exercising and see if that helps it. Right. But you almost were bent over in pain. Isn't that right? When I was preaching, God gave me a vision. Everybody lift your hands and say, there are nine gifts of the Spirit. Three of the gifts reveal things from the mind of God. Now, she can tell you, if you didn't hear, I haven't been to a doctor, preacher. But what the Lord gave me was a sign so she'd know what I'm saying is true. And that was the pain and the intensity she's been having, right? That you knew about. But see, God doesn't deal with the symptom. He goes right to the cause. And I believe when I lay hands on her and every one of you tonight, your help is here. Somebody say, my help is here. God's going to give her a new gallbladder. In your family... The devil's tried with some of your loved ones, those before even you, to attack them with high blood pressure and kidney problems. And God's going to keep you from problems because one of the things you notice, little lady, is right here. A sharp pain in the kidney. Isn't that right? God's going to give you two new kidneys tonight. I believe it in Jesus' name. How many believe it with me? And I don't mind if you talk to this woman after church. She'll tell you she's never spoken to me before. I have not. I've never spoken to her till just, well, when I gave her the book and then now. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Would you like a bonus? Of 
course. I like the answer. Of course. If God can heal the gallbladder, give her a new one. Touch the kidneys. I don't care how many new pair of glasses you get, the prescription changes. God will heal those eyes, and in particular, one eye that's worse than the other. Isn't that right? Yeah, I got astigmatism. What do they call it? Astigmatism. Astigmatism. It's in this eye? Well, we take the stigmatism out, put it under our feet. That's the bonus. Hold your glasses in your hand so I don't mess them up. Jesus! Where the eye, the muscles weak and starts to turn. I don't know if that's what a stigmatism is, but it's what I see when I laid hands on it. Oh, Jesus, strengthen the muscles in her eyes. And in particular, this one. Power of God's coming on her. You can hear her speaking in the Holy Ghost. Someone say, God is here. Somebody shout, help is here. Do you believe it? Lord, strengthen the muscles on that eye. And I'm going to believe with her without her glasses. Everything will clear up in front of this whole crowd. The working of miracles, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I'm going to take my hands off your eyes. God's working in them. Turn and look towards the crowd. Open your eyes. You're going to see even the clock looks clear. Can you see the numbers? Yes, zero, 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 zero. Uh, that's it. God did it. I said God did it. Right in front of you tonight so you can know Jesus is here. Somebody shout, he's here. Huh? Bless the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? And I command every part of your kidneys and organs of your body be set free. Give the Lord a hand as she goes back down. Hallelujah. Praise God. Isn't it wonderful to know that the Lord knows everything about us and wants us to be made whole? So if you're watching today and you'd like to receive um, our free magazine, you can go to the website and put in your name and address, and we'd be happy to send this. This, this just came out. This is the newest uh, just edition. Just came out, yes. And they, you know what else, honey? <clears throat> People say, when are you coming in our area? Yes. If you'll get the magazine, on the back of every magazine is our schedule, or you can go to our website that you see listed there, and our schedule is our updated schedule is posted there. We're getting ready to start doing tent crusades after our West Virginia camp meeting. We're going to the Ojibwe Reserve at Kettle Point. The tent's in going Ontario. up. Yeah. Then we're going up to uh, Greater Scranton, Pennsylvania, out near Blakeney where we're going to be preaching. And in this, Bonnie, we also put testimonies. And you know what the, what do you think the article is this time? Yes. About the foolishness of preaching. The utter foolishness. <laughs> and I got a picture of Billy Sunday on there. There he is. And how he got saved because a preacher woke up in the middle of the night. God said, go down to the Union Station and preach. He didn't think anybody was there. Way back in the shadows up by the tracks was the baseball player, Billy Sunday, yes. who gave his heart to the Lord when a man went and preached in the middle of the night. Did you ever hear that story? I, I, it's in the magazine, the <laughs> whole story. And then if when you would like to become a partner with us, you can let us know. You can call the number on your screen or go to the website and give. And um, you'll receive Brother Ted's book on healing, how to receive your healing five powerful chapters on how to be healed and you know it's important that we have men and women help us i've looked there's michael mara a lot of the people that are commenting are partners with us honey, yes, and i are. appreciate that yes we do and what I, and i'm not asking for a lifetime commitment but what i say is if you can believe god for one dollar a day mm -hmm. not even a can of soda costs a dollar anymore it's more right. or a pack of gum but uh, thirty dollars a month and as when we receive your first 
gift, I'll send you this book, How to Receive Your Healing. In fact, they can give right now, honey, and I'll tell you how they can do it. If you're watching on Facebook, just type in hashtag donate. But for all the social media platforms, John is scrolling there on our screen how you can give. Uh, we have Cash App, Ted Shuttlesworth Sr. Or you can call the operators standing by right now. Yes, Deborah Johnson, it was powerful. Great miracle. Um, if you give on Cash App, you'll have to go to the website and give us your name and address so that we'll we'll have it. Yeah, here comes some more requests here. There you go, sweetie. That's it, get your requests in. But anyhow, we need partners. But I didn't really, to be honest, and I didn't, I'm not making this any kind of a fundraiser. I want to pray for the sick yes, today. Absolutely. Those that need miracles. Amen. Adam, please pray for the Lighthouse Ministry. It's in Ohio. God bless you too, Adam. We'll pray. Father, bless that ministry. Yes. Anyone that's winning souls, spirit, bless Lord. them. Bless them. Colin Horton, her, his mom. We lose a job to her. Yeah. A good job. A job that she will love with good uh, boss, good pay, in the mighty name of Jesus. I think he says done. he's got problems in his liver, his eyes. Mm -hmm. Colin, I pray for you, not just you, but everyone watching. If you need a healing touch from the Lord today, I release my faith with you. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yes. today, and forever. Amen. Well, honey, we're getting ready to have the communion service today. But God gave me a message for you that are watching. And I want my uh, director to put the title up on the screen with the scripture. Bonnie, read my uh, scriptures that I felt God gave me for today. It's entitled, The Four Bodies of Christ. Mm. 1 Corinthians 11, 29 and 30 says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Now let's stop. The word unworthily means without knowledge, without knowledge. And so the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. God wants you to understand certain things. And in a moment, I'll explain to you why that's so important when it comes to this verse. Put it back up. Go ahead, honey. Drinking unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Now stop there. This is what I want to deal with in a minute. I want to deal with not discerning the Lord's body. Go ahead, dear. Amen. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. That's it. Now while you're commenting, while you're writing, while you're reaching out, our prayer center is filled with call workers today. You see the toll-free number on your screen. And if you will, while this anointing is going forth, I want you to call. And they're going to bring me all the requests at the end of this uh, broadcast today that's going out over all these media platforms. And I'm going to lay my hands, my wife and I, we're going to pray for you personally and in particular for your need. But if you'd like for me to lay hands on what you're asking God to do, quickest way would be to call or to go to the website. You see that there, forward slash prayer, .com. But I'm set today to come against the works of the devil. The first thought that I want you to understand is this. When you don't understand what Christ's body is about. Now, in a minute, when we take communion, this element, the wafer, the bread, speaks of Christ's body. But in your Bible, there are four different bodies of Christ that are explained to us. And the first thing we need to know is to understand the body of Christ is so important that if you don't, Paul said, then you get sick, become weak, and some even sleep, or what we would say, dear, die prematurely die prematurely so that's how important it is that you understand that I understand what the body of Christ represents number one Christ came God gave him a flesh 
and blood body. Now here's what is important about that body. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God revealed that he might destroy the works of the devil. Sickness and disease and sin are direct results of Adam's fall. Paul said in the book of Romans, through one man's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. If you get sick and you don't get well, then that becomes an incipient death. What do I mean by that? Some people are chronically sick, dealing with the same problem year after year and growing weaker and weaker. And if you don't get healed, you will die, the Bible says here, prematurely. Prematurely. Ladies and gentlemen, God wants you to have long life. He said, with long life will I satisfy you. My wife knows this. I've had such a burden to pray for Joe Bonzo. And people have asked me, why? You don't even know him. He doesn't know who you are. Well, he may know who I am, but we, we're not like growing up together. But when I was about 11 or 12, he and Richie Sturban came to my dad's church in Harrisburg. The group was called the Keystone Quartet. I was young, sat with the young people in those days. We sat down front. Joe Bonzel had this black hair slicked back, no facial beard or mustache in those days, just the sideburns, that look. He used to call it the Elvis look. And of all the group, I tell you, he and Rich, they started moving. But Joe had a little bit more energy than all of them. And I liked that. I thought if I ever preach, if I ever sing, I, I, want, I want to have energy to do that. I, not just stand behind a pulpit and say, Beloved, turn with me in your Bibles to First uh, Kings. No, I like life. And my, I'll tell you what we did, honey. Me and my brother Tim, we'd go home in the basement. We had these tennis rackets, actually Batman rackets. We'd turn them upside down and pretended the handles were microphones. And we'd start singing. Dad come down the stairs and he'd say, what's wrong with your leg? I mean, I was jumping and shaking like I saw Joe Bonzo do. Amen. And so, as young people, his life, ministry, influenced my life, my brothers, and so many others as well. The couriers, I could go on. When I heard that the devil was trying to cut Joe Bonzo's life and ministry and time of what he does short. A holy anger, Bonnie, I'm telling you. It's like it doesn't let me go. So finally, I got a hold of him, a text or whatever you call that, and I said, Brother Joe, I am not going to stop praying for you till you fully recover in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. His answer was just two words, my brother. <laughs> But I meant it, and I mean it for you. Yes. Dwayne Nicholson took ill. His wife, Jean Ann, called me. I've got the message here on my phone when they did last month. We prayed. Do you know when Dwayne went into the hospital near Sarasota, all of the symptoms and problems left him, and they couldn't find one thing wrong with Dwayne Nicholson. Well... Does God love Dwayne more than he loves Brother Joe? I say no a thousand times no. Does God love me or my beautiful wife more than he loves you? I say 10,000 times no. That's why I'm telling you now, in Jesus' name, in the comment section, get your prayer request in while this anointing is being released through social media for you right now. I bind the devil in the works of the devil. And the first body that you and I need to have understanding about of Jesus is he came in the flesh. Emmanuel, God is with us. And his blood was the blood of a man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The first man, Adam, was of the earth, earthy. The last man. Man, I feel the anointing on this. The last man is a quickening spirit. That's Jesus. When God formed Eve, he took Eve out of Adam's side. 
When Jesus died on the cross, they pierced him in his side. That means this works for men and women both. When Adam, who had dominion or authority, lost it, when Satan came in that garden, they put and fashioned a crown of thorns on the head of Jesus, speaking in their mocking way, he's the king of the Jews. Here's his authority. But little did they know, those crowns from the acacia bush was the same thing that Job referred to and Satan when Satan said in front of God's presence, you've built a hedge about Job. The acacia thorn bush was common to the land of us where Job was from. There was a break in that thing. The devil said, I'm going to get him one way or another. How did it break? Job said, the thing which I have feared greatly is come upon me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to preach faith into you that no fear will ever cause you to think or to believe or say, I can't be healed. I can't be set free. This sin is too powerful. I've done too many things wrong. I've come to tell you the first body of Jesus, that flesh and blood body, it dealt with every sickness, every disease. And there is not a sin that the blood of Jesus cannot cover Amen. and forgive. Amen. Oh, hallelujah forevermore. Hallelujah. The second body I want to talk about is Christ had a flesh and bone body. What are you talking about, Brother Ted? Simple. Every drop of blood drained out of Jesus' body on the cross. Touched the ground that was cursed. But redemption is so powerful that the Bible says prophetically the day will come when the desert will bloom like a rose. Have you been looking at the pictures of how they're restoring Israel? Beautiful roses of Sharon, bushes, trees are being planted. The devil can never win. Write it down. Remember, Heidi, remember this for Brian and everybody you ministered to. Paul said to Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. It's the one fight the devil can never win. And it's the one fight the child of God. That's you. That's me. We always win. Hallelujah. The second body, flesh and bone, speaks of the blood poured out upon the ground for our freedom. Requests are still coming in. Please call the number. We have a full complement of prayer warriors in the prayer center today. Go to the website. We have people monitoring it for your requests. Or even use the comment in any of these media. But I tell you, Bonnie, it's powerful. Read some of the ones that have just come in. We're praying today. Praying, praying, praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is from uh, Michael. My wife and I are both standing on the word for healing for myself. I need healing from high blood pressure yes, without Michael. the need of any medication. Yes. My wife needs healing of being dizzy with drainage in her throat. Mm. Doctors are not sure of the cause. Thank Hallelujah. You. Give me it over here, please. We'll put them Thank all you, Lord. What else do you have reading, please? Adrian, pray for supernatural healing of my eyes. She has astigmatism. Yes. And she's nearsighted. We're praying for eyes today. For clear vision. Praying Amen. for eyes. Free from wearing glasses. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. What else do you have there, dear? Uh, Belvalette called. She needs um, household salvation. Her Belle daughter's. Is that Paul from mm -hmm. North Carolina? Yep. We know her. What else do you and, have? And uh, let's read them quickly. She has. Uh, this is from jo Joanne. Back. Uh, back problems. God she, can heal the amen. back. Amen. What else do you have, sweetie? This is from Rosa. Rosa. Uh, for her eyes and to be able to rest at night. A lot of eyes amen. today. Do you know what that? What else yes. do you have there? We'll read this ministry of God. This is from Susan. Complete healing from cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing's too hard for the Lord, Susan. Even Ro wants her eyes. Pray for Ro. I'm believing with you. Good sight. Also, Alice, eyes and ringing in the ears, yes. high blood pressure, uh -huh. hearing, yes. and for her back, for Peggy. Wow. Here's some more. Amen. All right. What I want you to see, though, is the importance of understanding the body of Christ. Right. 
Why? Because the Bible says if you don't, it's for this cause you get sick, mm-hmm. weak, and die. The gifts of healing, delivering power is hindered by our lack of understanding yes. of the body of Christ. Amen. Let me quickly, uh, quickly go over this again. The first body of Christ was flesh and blood. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. Second, flesh and bone. The blood has now been poured out Mm -hmm. upon the ground. And as a result, redemption comes to the whole planet. The third body of Christ is his glorified body. Go with me in the scripture as we read how Jesus comes through a wall. Mm -hmm. His disciples are amazed. Is this you, Lord? And they tell the story. Later, Thomas said, if it's you... Let me see the prints of the nails in your hand. Let me touch it. Let me put my hand in your side. Something happened between the glorified body of Jesus and the flesh and bone body. I'll prove it to you. In the garden, when Mary and the ladies came, the Bible says they come to Jesus but thought it was the gardener. But Jesus, when they had revelation, said, Don't touch me. I've not yet ascended unto my Father. When he rose from the dead, he rose with a flesh and bone body. Yes. The scripture gives us the understanding in Hebrews. His holy blood was now on the mercy seat in heaven, where God would receive it as the sacrifice for the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, when he came back with the glorified body, he said, touch me. But in the garden with the flesh and bone body, he said, don't touch me. Something happened between the garden and Christ's ascension and his return to the disciples that day. Then the Bible tells us Christ has an eternal body. That's the body of Christ, all of us members in particular. You can't treat others unkindly, wrong, do things against your brother or sister right. and expect to be healed. No, mm-hmm. we must walk in love. Yes. And remember, the Bible says there's a faith that works by love, mm-hmm. works by love. And so as you're getting your prayer requests in, calling that number, please. Going to the website, please. Because they're starting to bring all these requests. And at the end of this, Bonnie, I'm going to lay my hands upon them with you. You've got some more they brought while I was exhorting. Read them, please. This is from Rinky. He's been, uh, let's see, his healing over his mother and father. And uh, Lisa Blanton is praying for her husband to have favor he f- and um, this one is from Edith healing she de- needs the healing pack um, this one is from Phyllis she her lungs need to be made whole and her colon yes Lord heal everyone's lungs and, uh, need healing today glory and this is from Amy for son and daughter and grandchildren. Did you see where last month when we were ministering in Florida, the CDC came out and said, COVID-19 can now be treated like any other flu. Isn't that something? (laughs) Paul Sherrill said, Brother Ted, you're starting to look like R.W. (laughs) Schambach. Wow. Brother Paul, he's got his tie on today. He's got Brother Brother Schambach's tie. That's why he's saying that. This was one of the last ties he wore. And Donna gave it to me to wear. So when I do important meetings, Mm -hmm. especially healing meetings, I'll put it on like I would a prayer cloth. And I wear it. Someone said, you're out of style. I said to him, if I'm wearing it, it's in style. (laughs) Amen. Praise God. Well, (laughs) Paul said, wow. Yeah, you're very perceptive, Paul. God bless you. Now, let me just say this. We must understand the body of Christ to receive healing. I'll say it again. We must understand the body of Christ to be healed, kept from dying prematurely. And that's why the key is what I just preached to you. Four 
bodies of Christ, each with its own function and purpose. But the last body is the body of Christ eternal in every age. Men, women, boys, and girls yes. that mention and name the name of Jesus. Yes. Michael Mara wants us to pray for his wife's eyes. Her name is Nanette. Mm -hmm. Healing in his body. There's Joel. What did he say? It went too quick. Oh, there it is. Everyone tune in. Yes. Lynn Ann's still with us. Paul. Pamela for her husband. Does she He's have his bone name there? disease, bulging discs, pain, high blood pressure, hernia, lip. He needs an overhaul, Pamela. Yeah, bulging discs, pain. Amen. Yes, Lord. We're going to pray. Brandon has a testimony. You prayed over my wife and her womb, her womb was healed. And now we have a baby and we're blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Is that the boy they call Risher? Brad Risher? Brad Risher. I remember Brad. Brad. Brad Brandon. Brandon Risher. Brandon. I remember Brandon that Risher. girl. Praise and God. uh And God's done that so many times. Bless that child, Lord. Amen. Jesus He's down in South name. Carolina. Praise God. Amen. All right, if you have your elements, and my workers have them downstairs in the prayer center, our floor director, camera, we all have the elements. We're, we're going to release healing. Yes. We're going to release healing in Jesus' name. Yes. Miracles are taking place. I got to call the other day. I'm, when they come to camp me, I'm going to have Marie give her testimony how God healed her of cancer. Amen. That day in Cracker Barrel, when we first met him, sat down. She had not eaten for many months. I said, what's your favorite food? We ordered it. She was very tentative. Didn't know if she could eat. Hadn't been eating. But we blessed that food in Jesus' name. The next time she went back, all the cancer was gone. You can get healed in Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Amen. Anywhere. Anywhere. Right now, today. Honey, has God ever used healing for you that you could say, I know God healed me? I remember the first time I really learned. I mean, in Bible school, we were taught about healing, and we just kind of, I thought myself, oh, I know God heals. I hope he heals me. But I remember with the first time I really learned as I was reading his word and reading about healing in different books how it's already been done. Jesus already took care of it 2,000 years ago, and it's in your account. It belongs to you now, and it's all in the receiving. And you have faith. Brother Ted's been preaching. Your faith is in your heart. Your mind wants to doubt, but your faith is in your spirit, man. And you, and you speak can... out of your heart, not your mind. Amen. As a man thinketh, so is yeah. he. Yes, speak your faith. Speak out your, of your faith mouth. right now. And I remember learning. Healing belongs to me. And I had really bad allergies. Mm -hmm. It was awful. And I, I just said that day, I line up my will with God's will, and I will receive my healing. I refuse. If we are the body of Christ and Jesus told us to lay our hands on the sick, should be, we be walking around sick? No. We need to receive our healing today. So say it out loud right now. I choose to be healed. I believe I am the healed of God. And speak your faith out of your mouth. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I was healed, and I don't have allergies anymore. Never but had them with since. everything that tries to come on your body, you have to say no. Do you know that you can say no to sickness and disease? Say it today, no. No. And say, I receive healing in my body today. I refuse to be sick. And every day, receive healing in your body. Get better, better, and better, and lay your hands on the sick. In Jesus' name. My wife's going to read what we call the communion scriptures. In your Bible, they're found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Right before the teaching of the gifts of the Spirit in chapter 12. Now, Bonnie, I don't believe it's an accident that the teaching of communion came before the powerful gifts God uses to set people free. Amen. I believe God did that for a reason. Yes. And would you listen? Paul said, as he encouraged the church there, 
I want you to be encouraged today, too. Just leave it on the wide shot the rest of the telecast, Mr. Director. Go. Where is it found? In 1 Corinthians, First Corinthians. chapter 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It was in 2 Corinthians. Uh-huh. Or as Donald what? Trump says, 1 Corinthians. We've got some more requests mm -hmm. coming in. Now, in giving these instructions, I do not praise you since you come together. Well, let's start over here. Instructions for the Lord's Supper. Yes. For I received from the Lord That's it. that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So and, it's, it's a memorial. Yes. Will it work for Princess Wendy in Nambia? Yes, it will. Will it work for Victoria Barros in Colorado? Amen. Will it work for you, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. The answer is yes, 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 yes. Amen. Read some more, dear. Huh. And in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do, as often as you drink, it is in remembrance of me. Again, it's a memorial. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, Praise you God. proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Till he comes. Yeah. Now in a moment, I'm going to have all my staff, prayer center, come up here to the studio. We're going to lay hands. But honey, more requests have come in. Everybody take the bread. He said, this is my body which was broken for you. Take and eat this do in remembrance for as often as you eat and drink. Let's eat together and receive healing from heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Healing from heaven. Heal the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Body. Hallelujah. Heal the body of Christ. Heal the Lord's body. Heal the body of Christ. Now let's praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. We receive healing right now. Oh, it's Jesus. The That's the song you hear playing. It's Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's take the cup together. Jesus said, and Paul taught it, Jesus said that he was going to offer himself up. And he said, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Then Paul said, after that great time that Jesus showed his love on the cross, he was buried. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul said, remember, every time you eat the bread and drink the cup, this do in remembrance. What did Jesus do? He undid everything Adam did. Hallelujah. All sin, all sickness, all disease is now broken yes. off of the world. Amen. All you've got to do is receive Christ. Receive his forgiveness of sins. Receive, oh hallelujah, healing you, in your Lord. body. Hallelujah. So when we drink together today, we're saying there's not a sin that the blood of Jesus cannot Amen. cleanse and remove. Let Amen. us drink together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for forgiveness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Through your blood. Honey, Hallelujah. the people are still sending in their requests. Praise you can still use, thank God, the social media comments if you want. Write down the toll free number. Our prayer partners are there Monday through Friday. Yes. We've got a full complement of partners today. Write down. The website for prayer, we will pray. Amen. One last thing. Honey, hand me that, please. I want to bless everyone that's called today. If you'll call and give us your address, we'll send you the brand new magazines coming out in April. Hey, that's me and you on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just saw this the other day. We have people that make this and put it together. The message, the utter foolishness of preaching, our crusade schedule where we're coming. Testimonies of miracles. I don't know, 
we were just in West Palm Beach a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Did you see the woman that got healed off the crutch? I did. With the lung, what do you so call it? So many wonderful Oxygen. miracles, yes. There she is. Mm -hmm. Here's the other woman that was healed. Yep. Deafness. We put these miracles in that you can be blessed, your faith be built. Yes. We call our magazine. I've been putting this out for over 30 some years. Wow. More 40. Than that. I yeah. see 40 there. Mm -hmm. Ho ho. My wife's getting younger. <laughs> and so. <laughs> I'll send it to you free. You in other countries, you can download it. Yeah. And then, for you that would partner with us today, and we need your partnership, I'll send you free of charge my number one selling book on healing, How to Receive Your Healing. Amen. In four different volumes, we've retitled it, added chapters, made it better. And I mean to tell Helping you... Helping us to do our tent meetings this summer. Yeah, and uh, then... Look at this. John has a graphic. April the 15th through the 19th, Bonnie, we're coming back for a week of fasting and prayer for souls for the summer tent crusades. Amen. But I'm starting the tent season right after camp meeting in April. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the Ojibwe Reserve in uh, Kettle Point in Ontario. And the tent will be going up. And that's going to take place in May. But before we start out on the road with our crew and our staff, we're going to have a week of fasting and prayer here at the ministry God. that we're going to show live every day on all of our uh, social media streams. And you can join us. And I'll encourage you right now, get in the names of your unsaved loved ones, people that need miracles. Amen. And I, I, I'll tell you, every day a different staff member is going to fast with us. You and I are fasting together. Yes. But it's coming up quick. So Amen. you can come back to us, Mr. Director, if you will. Thank you, folks, for your help. You know, a dollar a day is not much. No. And so I want to challenge every one of you watching today to send in your gift of at least $30 or more to help us. We've already spent uh, maybe 12000 on the tent crusade getting the tent the equipment everything ready so your help is very very important yes and i'd like to invite you to partner with me here's our uh partner ad i'll i'll narrate it, but watch this and i'll talk to you about it and i'll see you the next time uh this is our partner ad mr director and i'll, I'll talk with her please play it God is pouring out His Spirit right now on planet Earth. Souls are hanging in the balance. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus wants to use you today. I've been preaching Christ's saving and healing power through television in great outdoor meetings where miracles are taking place. We send out free gospel publications to multiply thousands, and our feeding program is touching people here at home and overseas as well. When you partner with me, I'm going to pray for you every single day. And I want to encourage you to become a soul winning partner with me. There are three ways that you can give. You see the information there on your screen. Prayerfully consider becoming a soul winning partner today. And when I hear from you, I will lay my hands upon your requests, your needs and pray. Together, we're going to make a difference.